Hi, welcome to the New Wave Cooking Club. I'm Jennifer, the executive chef for New Wave Oven. Today we are going to talk about turkeys, cooking turkeys. Got one going. I'm going to show you how to prep it. We're going to talk about frozen and fresh. So let's get going. Place your turkey. This is a about a 12 pounder. We cook up into a 16 pound turkey with the extender ring over here. Very simply, I like to, if you don't have plastic hand gloves, um, just use some paper ba or some baggies on your hands. What we're going to do is we're going to put some olive oil. This is my little seasoning trick. Olive oil all over the bird. Get a little bit in the cavity. Okay. I stuff my bird. I use onion, carrot, celery, and I put a few cloves of garlic. I don't mash them up or anything. I just stick them in there. Some people like to put an orange or, you know, however you usually season your turkey, go ahead and do it. Okay, our turkey is stuffed. Put this off to the side. Now, let's talk frozen for a minute. Let's say your bird is frozen. What we're gonna do is you're gonna rinse your bird off. You're going to go ahead and place it breast side down, just like we're gonna do with this. You're going to cook it to half the time. When you flip your bird, you take the, the gizzards and the neck out the bag, you know, throw it away, or if you make your gravy with that, whatever you wanna do. A lot of people like to cook the neck with it. Just lay the neck alongside the turkey and let it cook that way. And then you're going to re-season your turkey, put all your seasonings on, and continue cooking for the other half of the, of the time. So let's get going on the seasoning. We've got the olive oil. We've got it stuffed. Now what I do is I take some paprika, and we're, we're going to rub everything at the end. Some black pepper. You know, and some people like to use Cajun spice, um, some fresh herbs, whatever you want to do. Sometimes if I have some rosemary, I might put it in there. Okay, and some salt. Not a lot of salt. We don't want to draw too much moisture out. Okay, now what is really great nowadays is the turkey already comes with this little plastic, um, almost like a rubber band to hold the turkey legs together. So you don't have to worry about that. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rub it all in. Whoops, rub it all in. And don't worry about the bottom of it because there's not that meat, much meat on it, I and mean, if you want to rub a little bit, but stuck it in there. Okay. Now, if you are stuffing your turkey with stuffing, you frozen birds take 15 minutes a pound, fresh birds take 12 minutes a pound. If you are adding stuffing at this point, you add three minutes. So if it's 12, you're gonna cook it 15 for a fresh turkey. If it's 15, you're gonna cook it 18 for a frozen. Okay, it's on the cooking chart. All right, so we're gonna pick him up. We're gonna place him breast side down. Just give him a little rub back there. Now, you see the, the wings? A lot of people like to <clears throat> sew them on. I don't, I just push it back like this. Just kind of, you know, stick it back behind his leg. And there you go. Now a good trick with New Wave is, I like like a, a shorter, fatter turkey. They seem to fit in our ovens very well. Okay, now we're gonna take our extender ring. We're gonna fit it on. Make sure it's on there very good. We're gonna do, it's. Touch and go, as easy as that. Cook time to our start. Then at the halfway mark, I'm gonna flip it and re-season. And so in a little bit, I'm gonna come back and show you our cooked turkey. 
Hi, we're back. It's been two and a half hours and our complete bird is done. We ended up tenting him with a little bit of parchment paper because I didn't want to get it too brown. Now, I want to show you a very important thing, how to check the temperature on a turkey. What you want to do is it has to be between 170 and 180 degrees. Take it right here by the breast and put it in sideways and it's going to read 170 to 80. There we are, we're at 180. Start pulling it out. You also want to check for clear running juices. And perfect. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the extender. And I let my bird sit for about a half hour. Turkeys should really sit 10 pounds and above for at least a half hour. A, an hour would be great if you have that time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you right in the, the liner tray here, which is also a great serving tray. I'm going to show you how to cut the breast out. We're going to place it on here and carve it for you and how to get the, the drumstick off. So here we go. What you want to do is you're going to feel for the breastbone with your fork and you're going to make one cut along that bone all the way down till you can't cut anymore. And you're going to get this nice cut, okay? Then you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut down along the leg. Now what I like to do, I like to remove the skin, just kind of peel it back. Some people like the skin, you can save that. We don't in our house, but, and then you're going to make a side cut. Come around the back. And, lift your turkey off so you get the the nice full breast put that over there whoops then while this is sitting what you do is you take your your leg holding this one and crack it back back and forth okay and then you're gonna see this little nodule right here their bone and you're just gonna cut right down through that Okay, so now we have the dark meat and the white meat. So basically you have all of, you know, you can go down and get the, the rest off later, but you're going to have some nice big pieces. Now, this is all meat underneath here, the wing is all meat, and then obviously we have the other side. So what I do with this is I just come right down the bone, and then you're going to be left with all these tendons so that we won't actually be serving those. And I just like to kind of rough chop it there. And then with the turkey, just cut nice slices. Look how moist and juicy this is. And there you've got it. So you just continue on with the turkey. And you'll have the perfect bird every time.